Hello friends, this is Amit Ranjan and you are watching your favorite channel Java Mitra. This is the sixth episode of the J Table video series. I have decided to talk about how to show our table in sorted order of column headers. We have a default table column model class that implements table column model interface. J Table use this table column model as a default column model but we can make our own default table column model and override methods according to our requirement here we have to sort the column headers so that our table will show data uh, al alphabetically according to the column name for this we have to follow some steps and the number one is to create a custom default table column model class and override methods according to the need and the second step create default table model object using data and header array then we will create a j table object using a constructor which takes table model and table column model as a parameter and then we can call create default columns from model method on table object to uh, show the table in sorted order. So let us go with the sample code. Here is a sample I have with my data and header, some settings for frame and a main method to create object of table demo class. So now let us begin. First of all, we have to create default table column model class that means we have to create a subclass suppose I keep the name as sorted column model and make it subclass of default table column model all these classes keep are inside the table package so we have to import it we have to override a method we have to override a method public void add column which takes table column as parameter now first of all we have to add the current column to our table model so that on counting uh, this column will also be added now we have to get the name of this column by calling get header value and convert into string object and now we have a name for the column which I'm going to add into the table then we have to create one more method to decide about the index of our column with the help of get new index method this is a custom method i am giving to decide about the index of newly added column so let us find out the number of column by calling get column count so in this way we have number of column in our hand now we can scroll a loop up to the number of column and then we can decide first of all return number of column which will come at last and now decide uh, about column index according to the name of column header for this First of all, we have to search that whether the current column's header value in a string form by comparing to column at ith position dot get header value dot to string is whether less than or equal to zero. If this happen, we will return i and otherwise at last we will return the number of column so in this way we will decide that 
what will be the column index on the basis of the name of column by getting the name of current column with the column name at ith index and if if it is less than or equal to zero then we will return the ith position as a new index so now we have new index is equal to get new index and pass the table column object and here i put table column object as a parameter so in this way we have a new index for our particular column now we need to change the index so let us compare if new index is not equal to table column dot get model index then move column from model index in this way we have moved a column by using its new index now in table demo constructor we have to create a default table default table model object to pass data and header and now create a j table object by passing default table model and object of sorted column model now we have to call table dot create default columns from model method now let us add this table object in j scroll pan and add on content pan let us do compile and check whether the sequence of roll name faculty of header comes in sorted order or not there is spelling mistake into a string let us recompile compilation done so let us run the program and we see that the sequence of columns come in alphabetical order faculty name row so in this way we can we can sort our column in alphabetical order easily let us change the condition from less than equal to to greater than equal to so let us see what the changes come on output roll name faculty so now our columns are sorted in reverse order r n f this is the important class for you we saw that how can we sort our columns and just apply the object while creating your table class by passing table model and table column model thank you Thank you.